Cool. So, um, so, so again, I, I'm sorry that we're doing this virtually today, you guys, but um, hopefully everybody's okay. Uh, if anybody has any logistical technical problems, let me know right now. Does everything seem okay? You guys can hear me all right and all that jazz? Okay, cool. Awesome. Great. Um, and, the, and so uh, we've not done a Zoom class yet. So uh, this is our first Zoom class, thankfully not driven by COVID or whatever, um, uh, but, um, but just by my logistics stuff. So um, as we wait for the last couple of people to maybe come in here, I'll just summarize real quickly, quickly what we're doing this week. Um, and so this week is basically all virtual uh, because I'm I'm gone. Um, but uh, uh, hopefully it'll be relatively easy and straightforward. Um, also, I hope everybody's safe in the wake of that 3.9 uh, magnitude earthquake that just happened. And so um, uh, uh, be safe and be well, everybody. Uh, as far as what we're doing today, or some of you, as far as what we're doing this week. Um, this is our first non-scoop it post. You guys are always welcome to throw some some you know news articles you see up in, in scoop it, which is great. But you also might want to just wait for hold on to it for next week. Next week when you get credit for it by posting it. But you're always welcome to po post more than the minimum um, news stories in scoop it. Um, but this is a week we're starting our alternating um, uh, activity, which is doing a, a weekly reading summary from one of our technical. Um, things in our reading that was either this week or from last week. And so that's the, the assignment for um, this week that'll be due on, and, and our, our regular deadlines, again, things are due on Friday. Um, and then uh, as far as our lab, we won't have an official lab. We'll be meeting simultaneously in um, a class on Wednesday because I'll be, I'll be heading back uh, down to Ventura County. Um, but I, I would, would, what you guys are gonna do is I have two versions of our poll. So we're getting, we're still working towards our poll. We've sort of paused. We haven't gone really aggressive. Normally by the second week of this class, we're, we're in talking about the polling and how we're, gonna be, how we're gonna be looking at public attitudes about coastal management and things of that nature. Um, but because of the recall election um, and the crazy COVID stuff, um, we decided to wait till after this week, after the recall is done. And uh, we just find when we get close to elections, nobody wants to do any kind of polls. People are like, nah, I don't trust you. This is some kind of political thing. So we're just waiting. Um, and so the first step towards that, uh, just about everybody has done their human subjects um, safety training. Thanks. That was one of our assignments last week. There's a handful of folks that, for whatever reason, didn't finish it. Um, and so uh, I still need everybody to do that. So if you were one of the few folks that um, weren't able to complete that or didn't, didn't upload your documents, um, please, I sent you an email, please please do that training this week and upload that document. It's a, it's a requirement for us to do, um, uh, do these, these polls. Uh, and then also related to that, I, just by way of segue, if you guys, a few folks missed um, the lab safety training um, and weren't, weren't in, um, a class last week when we did our, our safety training. So if that pertains to you, please reach out to Zach. And he he has some makeup times. I think his default makeup times are on Tuesday to go ahead. And, and again, you guys, everybody needs to be uh, safety trained, our basic lab safety training uh, and field training, um, uh, uh, regardless of, uh, of uh, if you made it during the deadline or not, we have to have everybody do those two things. Um, but anyway, but to finish up, so so for the laboratory activity this week, the polling stuff, what I have you guys are doing is um, I always want you to take and, you know, so just take it cold, just pick it, pick it up and just look, read through the questions. Um, two versions of our poll. One was the last time we did a quote unquote regular poll, which is fairly long and, and fairly um, um, covers a, a large range of things we talk about in coastal management. Last year, because of COVID, um, we had to go remote um, and uh, just a bunch of things changed. So we asked some different questions. We, we sort of pivoted the poll to ask, we asked a few of our long-term questions, but really we were asking more about how um, COVID was, was impacting people. Um, and so uh, we will have, a, we'll continue this discussion next week um, but it's up to you guys to decide how, how we'd like to do the poll um, this year. It seems like we um, don't want to have the, 
the length of the poll we historically have had because it'll be challenging to get that done uh, in in COVID times. Um, and we we may well want to ask at least a few of these COVID related questions, um, but uh, but we, we we definitely want to also um, you know use this this is a teaching instrument to look at how um, people's attitudes or, or look at what people's attitudes towards coastal management are and maybe how they've changed over time. So, um, so, but to start that conversation, I want you guys to take those two polls and you'll see they're, they're fairly different. Take those and then um, I have a Google document which has everybody's name and, and question one, question two, question three. And you guys will go and after you've read through those, think about it for a minute, go get a juice, go, go play 20 minutes of basketball or whatever, clear your mind. And then, um, and then kind of think, hey, what are the, what are the things I'm most interested in, in understanding um, in terms of how the public perceives things? Am I interested in seafood stuff? Am I interested in, I don't know, pollution stuff or, or whatever? Um, and ideally, if, if it matches pretty closely, one of the questions we've already been asking, but if it's something just totally different, you can also propose your own uh, question or something you think is really, really interesting. And so uh, question one, question two, question three of the, of the three things you think are, are most interesting to you. And then I'm asking you to, to read some of your fellow students' um, uh, suggestions and give some feedback. Hey, I thought the same thing, or that's interesting. What if we asked, what if we started with that, but then we also asked this kind of, kind of deal. And uh, that, um, that document is, should be done by the end of the week. But I think a fantastic thing to, to do would be for you guys to all do that during our lab time, during our, our lab activity on or, or time window on Wednesday. So even though it's virtual, if you guys haven't done it by then, go ahead and take half an hour, you know, read through this, the polls, do the polls yourself, and then mm, and put that feedback in and give people feedback. That way, everybody would be getting um, a stuff on time and and I think that would be a way to just uh, well manage your time, not take up other amounts of time, but yet get stuff done um, on time. Okay, so there we go. So that's it. Does that make sense what we're doing this week, you guys? So uh, virtual lecture today and then um, uh, some of these activities. Sound good?